The topic of our discussion today is middle cerebral artery Doppler. We have already discussed the umbilical artery Doppler and the uterine artery Doppler, and you can find their links by clicking on the i button in the top right corner of this video. What is middle cerebral artery Doppler? Doppler velocimetry of middle cerebral artery is a method to assess the impedance or resistance to flow in fetal brain circulation. What are the indications of MCA Doppler? Fetal middle cerebral artery Doppler assessment is an important part of assessing first of all fetal cardiovascular distress, secondly fetal anemia, thirdly the fetal hypoxia. In a proper situation, it is very important adjunct to umbilical artery Doppler assessment and it is also used in the additional workup of intrauterine growth restriction TTTS, TAPS. And how do you perform the MCA Doppler? Here in this picture, you can see the circle of villus and here is the middle cerebral artery. The middle cerebral artery is examined close to its origin from internal carotid artery. So by using the color Doppler flow imaging, the middle cerebral artery can be seen as a major lateral branch of circle of villus running anterior laterally at the borderline between anterior and middle cerebral fossa. The MC Doppler is done to assess the resistance in fetal brain vasculature. Let us talk about the anatomy of middle cerebral artery. The middle cerebral artery arises within the interpeduncular fossa from the internal carotid artery from the lateral angle of circle of the villus. It courses laterally between the, the frontal and temporal lobe traversing the salvian fissure. The middle cerebral artery is a low resistance high capacitance vessels. It is the largest branch of internal carotid artery which receives 7% of cardiac output. What is brain spinning effect? Cerebral circulation is sensitive to changes in carbon dioxide and oxygen. As the placental function worsens and hypoxia ensures, the compensatory vasodilation of cerebral circulation results in, first of all, enhanced blood flow to the brain, heart and adrenal and reduced blood flow to kidney and liver. This is called the brain sparing effect. What are the consequences of brain sparing effect? Decreased perfusion of the kidney results in oligohydramnios. Decreased blood flow to the liver results in decreased abdominal circumference. Brain sparing effect called cephalization or centralization can be identified on MCA Doppler. Normally, it is high resistance system with a low flow, but in the brain sparing effect, it is low resistance system with a high flow. Now, what are the important parameters of MCA Doppler? The important parameters include, first of all, fetal MCA pulsatility index. Secondly, fetal MCA peak systolic velocity, the highest velocity that should be recorded. Fetal MCA systolic diastolic ratio, a normal fetal MCA ST ratio should always be higher than umbilical artery ST ratio. Cerebral placental ratio of pulsatility index of MCA and umbilical artery. Now, which index is better predictor of perinatal mortality in IUGR fetus? MCA, peak systolic velocity is better predictor of perinatal mortality in IUGR fetus than the pulsatility index. What is pulsatility index of MCA Doppler? The fetal middle cerebral artery pulsatility index is a key parameter used in the fetal middle cerebral artery Doppler assessment. It is calculated by subtracting the end diastolic velocity from peak systolic velocity and then by dividing it, it with the time average velocity. So PSV minus EDV divided by TAP. What is the peak systolic velocity of MCA Doppler? The fetal middle cerebral artery peak systolic velocity is an important parameter in MCA Doppler assessment. It is reliable between 18 to 35 weeks of gestation. And what is its significance? Increased PSV can indicate moderate to severe anemia in the non hydrops fetuses. What is ST ratio? Fetal MCA ST ratio is an important parameter in the fetal MCA Doppler assessment. It is a useful predictor of fetal distress and intrauterine growth restriction. Let us talk about its interpretation. So what happens normally? The normal value of fetal MCA ST ratio will vary by institution. A normal fetal MCA ST ratio should always be higher than umbilical artery ST ratio. What happens in the abnormal situation? A reduced ST ratio is abnormal and implies an increased diastolic flow in the middle cerebral artery. Loss of high resistance waveform is also an indicator of fetal distress or IUGR. 
another important parameter is cerebroplacental ratio let us define the cerebroplacental ratio it is an obstetric ultrasound tool used as predictor of adverse pregnancy outcome in both small for gestation age and appropriate for gestational age fetuses what is the significance of cerebral placental ratio? An abnormal cerebral placental ratio reflects the redistribution of the cardiac output to the cerebral circulation and has been associated with intrapartum fetal distress, increased rate of emergency cesarean section, and an ICU admissions. How to do its measurement? It is calculated by dividing the Doppler pulsatility index of middle cerebral artery by the umbilical artery pulsatility index. So the formula is CPR cerebral placenta ratio is equal to MCA PI divided by umbilical artery PI. Now how does normal MCA Doppler look like? There is systolic and diastolic flow pattern in the normal MCA Doppler. The pulsatility index normally is 1.74. Let us talk about MCA Doppler in IHR. There is systolic waveform. The diastolic flow is increased due to reduced pulsatility index because of brain spinning effect as I explained to you in the start of this video. This means resistance in the brain vasculature has been decreased. Now what differentiates the interpretation of umbilical artery Doppler to that of middle cerebral artery Doppler? In umbilical artery Doppler, there is reduced pulsatility index and increased and diastolic flow. So these are considered to be as the normal signs. And in MCA Doppler, if we have a reduced pulsatility index and increased endastolic flow, these are considered to be as the abnormal signs. And I, I explained all of these things to you before. So that was all about middle cerebral artery Doppler. I would like to complete my presentation with this code. Dream big, stay positive, work hard and enjoy the journey. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.